right, guys, so here we're actually going to discuss what the pH scale really means and what it means for concentration as well. So you'll need your notes, and you'll definitely need a calculator, so grab that. We're going to go through what the pH scale is, uh, what happens with changes of concentration, and with calculations. So this is the pH scale. You've known this. You've seen this before. We have pH, which actually has no units. It goes from a pH of 0 to 14. So the more acidic it is, the more or the closer it is to um, 0, and the more basic it is, the closer it is to 14. And what we mean by acidic is more H plus concentration or more H3O plus concentration. We can use those interchangeably. When we mean basic, we mean higher OH concentration. The pH scale is a logarithmic scale. So when we talk about logs, we can just think about it as a factor of 10. So when we're going from 0 to 14, we're actually going to be decreasing the H3O plus concentration by various factors of 10. We're also going to be increasing the OH concentration by factors of 10. So when we go from 0 to 1, for example, we actually are decreasing the H3O concentration by a factor of 10. When we go from a pH of 1 to 2, we're decreasing the H3O concentration by a factor of 10, and so on and so forth. All right? In the meanwhile, while H3O plus concentration is decreasing, the OH minus concentration is actually going to be increasing. So by looking at this, let me erase some of these things here. We'll, um, some of the questions might be like, what happens or what is the change in concentration when you go from a pH of 0 to 2? So if we're in a pH of 0 to 2, from here to here, we're actually going to be decreasing the H3O concentration by two factors of 10. And then we'll multiply this. We don't want to add these, we're going to multiply. So 10 times 10 is 100. So when we go from a pH of 0 to 2, we're actually decreasing the H3O concentration by a factor of 100. We're going to, um, in turn, increase it, the OH minus concentration by a factor of 100. So say, for example, we go from a pH of 8 to, um, actually, let's do 8 all the way to 5. All right, so we're going to go in, going by factors of 10. So this is 10, another 10 is 100, so we're multiplying these, and another 10 is 1,000. So we've got 3, a 1, and 3 zeros here. So again, this is by a factor of 1,000. Since we're going from 8 to 5, we're going to decrease the H plus concentration by a factor of 1,000, or increase the, H, the OH concentration by a factor of 1,000. So again, when we increase the pH, we decrease the H plus concentration and um, increase the OH minus concentration, and these are all by factors of 10. When we decrease the pH, we increase the H plus concentration, we make it become more acidic, and we decrease the OH minus concentration. And again, this is all by factors of 10. What we have here now are the calculations. So we have pH is equal to the negative log of H plus concentration. Don't forget that those brackets um, around that H plus or around the OH minus, those will all mean concentration. So we need to know that the pH is equal to the negative log of H plus concentration. And for some of your calculators, you might need to put in the concentration first, so it might be like 0 0.002, and then um, make it negative and then press log. For some other calculators, you might, you might be able to simply just do log and then negative number. We have the pOH concentration. So since pH was the parts of hydrogen, the pOH is the parts of hydroxide, or OH minus concentration. And that's equal to the negative log of the OH minus. When we have the H plus, um, if we want to find what the H plus concentration, we just take whatever that pH is and increase it by um, 10. So on your calculator, you might see 10 to the um, x, for example. Let's make that a little nicer looking. So 10 to the x. When you put this in, it would be 10 to the whatever the negative pH is. So say, for example, it's negative 4. That's what your H plus concentration would be. The fourth calculation is that when you take the pH and add it to the pOH, the parts of hydrogen and parts of hydroxide, that should equal the number 14. We go from 0 to 14 on our pH scale, so that pH and the pOH will be 14. And then another constant is if we take the concentration of H plus and the concentration of OH minus and multiply the two, we actually end up getting the number 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. So whenever you need to put this into a calculator, don't forget that 
really all you need to do is um, do one, the EE button, and negative 14. You don't need to do the times 10. So pretty much that EE is taking in that times 10 right there. You will need to know what these calculations mean, and this is actually a simple table to kind of help you figure that out once you're starting to work with this. Eventually, you will not need to use these, um, and this is like later on in chemistry um, or later on in college. Those calculations should become more innate to you, but if you're having trouble figuring out where to go from one place to another, this is a simple map to help you. So, for example, if we're, if we're given the OH concentration and we want to know what the H plus concentration, we would simply just use go in this direction and use this formula to help us. So we plug in whatever that OH concentration is down here and then that is di um, divided from 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Say for example you want to go from OH to pH. There's two different paths that you can go. You can go this direction where you go you take the POH is equal to the negative log of the OH concentration. That's again what you should be given in molarity. And then you're landing in POH and then from there, you can take whatever that pOH is and subtract it from 14 to give you the pH. The other direction is going um, left. So taking that um, OH concentration, taking 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by that OH concentration, that gives you the H plus concentration. And then you can um, just plug that into negative log times the H plus concentration. This sounds way more complicated than it actually is. It's actually very, very simple. Um, and this diagram definitely does help you, but you need to know why you're using this, so make sure you take a look back at the calculations. So here we have um, the question is, what is the pH for a 0 0.002 molar HCl solution? We know that HCl is going to be an acid, so that's going to be your H plus concentration. We know this is concentration because they say molarity in there. So we are right here. We know that we have 0 0.002 molar of this, and we want to figure out what the pH is. So we find where we're going from and where we're going to and we'll use this equation to help us out. So we know that the pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. And again this is when your calculators are very helpful. So plug in that H plus concentration. So negative log of 0 0.002 and again, for your calculators, you might need to put in the 0 0.002 and then press in log and just do the negative of that, or you might be able to do log and then 0 0.002 and just take the negative of that. So make sure that's plugged in. And you'll get around 2.7 for your pH. Again, pH does not have any units, so you can leave it without any units in there. Alright, so for number two, we want to know what the pH of the 0. 003 molar NaOH solution is. So we know we're going to land at pH because that's what we want. And we have molarity, so we're going to use one of the concentrations. And we're going to use the concentration of OH because we're using a base here. We're starting with a base. So here, we're going to start at OH minus and then eventually get down to pH. So you have two options here. You can um, go in this direction or in this direction. Either one works. So for um, right now, I think I'll just go in this direction. So we have H plus is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th over OH. So we have H plus is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th over that OH concentration, which ends up being 0 0.003. Plug that into your calculator. So you end up getting 3.33 times 10 to the negative 12th. And don't forget, uh, for most of your calculators, this thing that's highlighted right here is actually the EE button. So it's just 1 EE negative 14 divided by 0 0.003. So now we know that the H plus concentration is 3.33 times 10 to the negative 12th molar. But we want to get to pH, so we can actually plug it right into this equation. So we have pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. So that's equal to the negative log of what we found already, 3.33 times 10 to the negative 12. So 
So again, you might be able to just do 3.33 times 10 to the negative 12th, or 3.33 EE negative 12, and then press the log button, take whatever the negative is of that, and that should give you 11.5. Right? And if any of my calculations are incorrect, if you get something a little different in your calculator, let me know when you see me tomorrow. All right, so we have 11.5 as our pH, which makes sense because we're taking, um, we're trying to figure out what the concentration of sodium hydroxide is, and it's going to be in the basic range, which is above 7. So a pH of 11.5 does make sense to us. All right, for number 3, what's the OH concentration of the pH is 4? So now we're starting with pH, and we want to know what the concentration of OH is. All right, we have two different ways we can go. I'll just go up and over. So I'm going to take H plus is equal to 10 times the negative pH, or excuse me, 10 to the negative pH. So it's 10 to the negative 4. Oops. Sorry, negative 4 there. So again, in your calculator, this could be 10 to the x. So go ahead and write in 10, or press that, that button and type in negative 4 or 4 negative, however it ends up in your calculator. All right, and then from there, we need to go over to figure out what that H plus concentration is. So I'm actually going to start merging in some of these calc or some of these. Um, Actually, no, we'll just do it as is here. So this should give you 0 0.0001 for your molarity. And then we're plugging this in to the other calculation that we have. OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th over that H plus concentration. I'm just going to put that in here because I'm running out of room. Of course, you'd fill in the entire formula first and then plug it in. And that should be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 10th. Since it's asking about the concentration, we'll use the um, unit molarity. All right. So again, if you get something different when you're typing this into your calculator, please let me know. So we're going through um, a quick summary. The pH scale is based on factors of 10. One thing I forgot to mention, don't forget, it's a lowercase p, uppercase h. That h is representing hydrogen. Hydrogen should always be capitalized that p is always lowercase. So if we increase the pH, that means that we increase the OH concentration and decrease the H plus concentration or H3O plus concentration. If we decrease the pH, meaning we go down in the scale, <clears throat> that means that we decrease the OH concentration and increase the amount um, of H plus or H3O plus. And then use those formulas to go between pH, POH, H plus, and OH minus. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Take care and have a good day.